Well, hello, and uh, it's great to have you with us this morning, uh, worshipping uh, through our digital uh, back delivery this Sunday, the 20th of September. And uh, today we have a special guest with Matt Sheffer uh, joining us from St. James Pakenham, uh, our local Anglican church down there, and uh, a good gospel friend. Uh, and he's going to be preaching for us this morning. Uh, but just before uh, we hear from Matt uh, opening up God's Word, uh, I thought it'd be good to actually uh, talk to you, Matt, and find out a little sure. bit about who you are. You did come on Wednesday to our, our Wednesday Pastors Connect, but not everyone was there. So just to get to know you a little bit, could you just tell us just a little bit about yourself, your family, perhaps, where you live? Sure. Uh, so yeah, we live in Pakenham, and I'm married uh, to Fiona, and we have two young children, a prep and a grade two. So we've been doing the home learning thing the past uh, several months. So that's uh, been exciting, mm. but challenging as well. Yeah, it's a big one. Yeah. <laughs> challenging times, and uh, many of people of our congregation uh, would definitely you know, be able to relate to that. <laughs> um, uh, just another question for you, and this one to do with your Christian faith. So mm. uh, it'd be good just to know how you became a Christian. Sure. Um, so uh, I was baptized Roman Catholic and uh, really didn't have any uh, connection to God at all and went to Catholic schools. But really, I knew that um, Jesus died on a cross um, and I knew that he was born in Bethlehem because, you know, we had nativity uh, plays and things like that at school. But I really didn't think Jesus was a real person mm. and really didn't think that uh, he offered me anything until a Christian friend late in high school encouraged me to read the Bible. And in reading the Bible, I understood uh, Jesus died in my place for my sin and was raised from the dead. And I could have eternal life as a free gift, um, not by being good, but it was just a free gift if wow. I trusted him. So I did. Mm. That's awesome. That's some great news there. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that realization of not by works, but by faith and, and the grace of God. It's, mm. it's always such a freeing thing. Um, yeah, and, uh, you know, Matt's going to be opening up um, John 1 for us today, and that's going to be an exciting place. Uh, and if you've not heard this message before, you'll, you'll hear it today. Um, so uh, look forward to that. Um, Matt, just uh, one final question, mm. uh, and just another part. <laughs> It'd be really good for us to help... Us to understand you, um, which is just a bit about your church. You know, you're, so you're St James Anglican Church in Pakenham. Yep. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about what the church there is like? Uh, <laughs> perhaps why we should come there, <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, anything else that you think sure. would be helpful to know? Um, well, I guess St James is quite similar to Berwick in lots of ways. Um, similar sort of de demographic. We've got older folk. We've got some young families. We've got people from different cultural ethnic backgrounds. We've also got a South Sudanese congregation as well. Mm. Um, the church is located on the property of Beacon Hills College. It hasn't mm, always right. been there. It's been in Pakenham for like 100 years, and then 25 years ago they put it on the school. So we've got a bit of a connection to the local school. Um, yeah, we're on about Jesus and trying to make Jesus known in Pakenham. Mm, awesome. And um, if people come, they'll hear more of your, your preaching, which we're going to hear uh, later on in this service. So look forward to that. Uh, it's been great preaching and, and um, yeah, I'm sure you're going to enjoy the message. So thanks, Matt. Um, yeah, we'll look forward to hearing some more from you uh, later on. Thank you. Um, yeah, for now, uh, just a few more announcements uh, this, today. Uh, and they are that, don't forget, coming up uh, on October uh, the 6th, Tuesday night uh, at 7.30, we have our quarterly Bible forum for Term 4, the last quarterly Bible forum for this year. And uh, at that quarterly Bible forum, we're unpacking uh, the Book of Judges, which will be our teaching series for Term 4. And uh, we've got a special guest, Martin Pakula, is coming. Uh, he's uh, a, a, a got a great wealth of knowledge in the Old Testament. Uh, and he's, uh, yeah, he's been a, an Old Testament lecturer at Bible colleges in Victoria, and uh, he's yeah, just got heaps of wisdom. So uh, look forward to that night. It's going to be a YouTube live event, so you can uh, log into that uh, through the website, uh, through our back YouTube channel, and uh, you can check out um, that quarterly Bible forum coming up. And uh, one other announcement, which is coming up this week, is uh, that you should join us on Wednesday for our uh, pa Wednesday Pastors Connect uh, from 6.30, uh, starting if you want to have a chat. Uh, 7 o'clock, uh, we formally begin. Uh, but this week, we've got Brad and Michelle Jackson. Uh, Brad and Michelle joined us uh, last week um, for the sermon and a mission spot. They've been missionaries in Japan, in Kobe, in Japan, and um, they're joining us on Wednesday night at the Pastors Connect um, to help us uh, yeah, understand a little bit about what they've been up to, where they're going now, 
and so that you can ask any questions and, and hear them for the last time as they wind up as CMS missionaries. So do join us uh, on Wednesday night for the Wednesday Pastors Connect. You can find all of the details for these things on the website, uh, the logins for our, our meetings. Uh, so do check that out, www.berwickanglicanchurch.org.au. And uh, we hope that this morning uh, you enjoy worshipping with us as we uh, open up God's Word and praise Him together.